Hi ladies, um, just a couple of flowers here that I want to show you today. I did try and video this earlier on and for some reason there was no sound so I'm hoping that this is going to work. But as you can see, they're gorgeous little flowers and I have to say there wasn't a die cut for these because I hand cut them myself but they're easy to do. And um, I mean if you can draw a circle you can draw a petal, a flower. So what I did was <coughs> just got a piece of paper, a card, and drew this shape. Basically I put a circle in the middle, a lid of, um, where is it, this lid, popped it in the middle and then just drew some petals away from the middle and then cut it out and same again with this one. Just cut, where I'd cut it, just cut the uh, petals deeper and you got two pe uh, a petal, two different sorts of petals. So what we're going to need today, um, like I said, these are the ones you're going to make. Really pretty, really easy. And I started off with like this uh, coloured card and it's like a, I'm not sure whether you call it a mauve, it's a dusty pink, maybe a dusty pink. But any, any card will do. It's got to be one that's quite flexible though, so stiff card, no, I wouldn't say, you won't get the same effect. But what you do is, um, I'll do this one first, but you'll do them both exactly the same. The only difference is, if you look at the petals, one is more, uh, sorry, this one is more rounded and this one is more pointed. And actually I do like that one better. But what you do is, take your ink, oops. I'm using a blending block, uh, shades of purple, middle two colours. I'm a little dobber, thanks to um, Rachel. Thank you very much there, Rachel. Go around the petal. Do them nice and dark on the edges. And then what you're going to do, from the middle outwards, just brush it gentle brush mark and you'll see if I can show you you get like little marks so it looks like the veins in the flower so it makes it look more realistic so just gently do that I'll show you this in a minute and that's what you get looks a lot more realistic um, and you'll need two of these to do each petal each flower I'll quickly just do this one They don't have to be perfectly round, mine's not. You don't see flowers that are like that, I don't think. Right, and then just slowly brush it. Doesn't matter if a little bit goes darker, fine. Adds to the effect of the flower. And that's all you're doing. So when you've done that, what you're gonna do is just scrunch it up. And get as many creases in it as you can. Scrunch it up, open it out just gives it an added texture and you're happy with that scrunch this one up there you go not happy with it just put a couple more creases in the petals right now when you've done that what you need to do with both of them you put your thumb in the petal and leave a little gap like that oops can you see that and then you use your index finger and your thumb on your other hand and you squeeze the two together like that and at the same time push push up and you get that petal shape let's do that again push up push up you do that with all your petals and it, it rather looks like a lily pad I'm not sure you can see it it just looks like a lily pad so you need to do that with the other one as well I'm just going to quickly go through this because I have to try and get the other one in might do but the other one's made exactly the same it's just a different shape petal then what you need to do in the middle punch a hole I mean if you've got a die cut for a punch uh, sorry to punch one out then yeah go for it what you need 
um oh sorry i need one more little flower that i didn't have ready which i should have done um let's get a little flower out my box let's have a look not, not quite big enough sorry about this ladies but i'll be with you in a minute and i'll have to use a different oh, i've got one but it's a different color but it doesn't matter as long as you're prepared when you're doing yours so blue one <laughs> take your brad place it in the middle of your small flower oh these are fidgy um then in the next size flower up because you do want it to look like a proper flower then in the one you've just made and then make sure that this petal or these petals are in between the petals below so I'm just gonna and there you go a lovely little flower pretty aren't they again you'll do exactly the same with the other one I will try and fit it in I'm just going to use a slightly darker ink Could do that one again really quick. What are we on? Oh, six and a half minutes. I'm not going to fill this one in in, in the ink. I want to see what it looks like actually. Cause I haven't done it this way. And um, scrunch it up. Scrunch them both up together. Oh, just like that. Undo them. quickly find a another flower to go in it let's have a look um, oh come on oh we've got a nice purple one there and another one here oh, I only need one don't I silly old so only using the one for now put the hole in the brad you don't put the hole in the brad do you <laughs> put the hole in the petal Quickly squash it, um, squeeze it together, like that. Aren't we on seven to oh, eight minutes nearly? We'll get this one in. There you go. When you've done that, take um, the little petal with the brad. Again, make sure that um, your petals fall in between ones underneath and I'm just gonna show you aren't they pretty that's one of that's the one I've just finished aren't they pretty well come back for some more because I've got some more flower tutorials I um borrowed some dyes <laughs> again <laughs> and I want to make them up I haven't done them before so I'm going to try them and if they're any good then obviously I'll let you see all right, ladies, thanks very much. Bye.